Intel still is the obvious choice for many PC lovers. But with a huge range of processors in their inventory, which one should you go with? Today we are going to simplify this and help you select the right Intel CPU. Let us first divide the target market into 4 categories and the CPUs that we mentioned here are applicable for both desktops and laptops. First we have the casual user. These individuals don't need skyrocketing performance and all they desire is something which can perform day-to-day -day tasks like web browsing, taking notes without any lag. And for these people, the most suitable CPU would be the Pentium chips. Before you think I'm mentioning some low power chip, let me tell you that these CPUs have grown significantly in terms of their processing power. They have higher clock speeds and also support hyper-threading. So the casual user is not left with a slower CPU. Now if they pair it with a suitable GPU like a 1050 Ti or 1060, they can even run games at 1080p without any hiccup. And for those who want something a little extra in terms of performance, then the Core i3 would be a really good choice. Next we have the rookies. These guys know to use a computer but are just getting to experience the true power of it. So let's just say they are the kids of the PC master race. Now the CPU should be something which is powerful but doesn't cost a fortune. So the best option is to go with an Core i3. These are mostly dual core CPUs but have much higher clock speed than the Pentium counterparts and also support hyper threading. But my personal recommendation is for you guys to go with the 8th generation Core i3 CPUs like the 8100 or 8350K as they have quad core processors and don't cost a fortune. An alternative but costly recommendation would be the Core i5 processors, especially the lower tier Core i5s like the 8400. These are 6 core beasts which are slightly pricier than the Core i3s but give significantly more performance and would be helpful if you are a content producer. Now come the seniors of the pack, the ferocious gamers. These guys are crazy when it comes to raw processing power and since their aim is to mostly achieve the highest frame count for an ultra smooth gameplay on their high refresh rate monitors, the best CPUs for them are the Core i7s, especially the 8th generation series. With 8th gen CPUs, these guys are getting higher core counts like at 6 cores with higher base and boost clocks. Now this really helps them achieve their desired gameplay experience. But for those who are on the budget side of the spectrum, the previous generation Core i7 processors are a worthy option to choose from. Even better, the 8th generation Core i5 CPUs are another cheaper alternative. These CPUs really are helpful if you are a streamer, content producer, filmmaker or a music producer who is just starting out. Last up, we have the power hungry users. These are the guys who work on 3D modeling, work on big budget movies and do AI and machine learning etc. So they require a lot of cores and power as they deal with intense computational programs and render out large chunks of data. For this, my choice of CPU would be the Core i9s. These are extremely powerful CPUs with more core counts than your average consumer CPU. Core count aside, the base and boost frequency on these chips are really well balanced for superior multi-threaded performance. But if you have got less money to spend, then going with the Intel X series chipset would be the ideal choice. And note, these CPUs are not for gaming and are focused only towards multi-threaded workloads. So here are the CPU recommendations for each type of user. Since desktop and laptop processors are somewhat similar with the exception of lower clock speeds, it's safe to say this list is applicable to both kinds of users. Purchase the right CPU for the right purpose and simply do not shell out cash. Make sure you check out the description to see what our Intel processor picks are. So thank you for watching and please do subscribe.